Hello and welcome to today's session on the Flipper Zero. My name is Rob from Steam Labs. In today's video, we are going to be having a look at how you can get started with this device and unlock it to its true potential using custom firmware like Rogue Master and Unleashed. Now, at the beginning of the video, we are going to be having a look at the different types of things that you can read from your Flipper Zero. And we're also going to be having a look at how you can deploy different bad USB scripts for penetration testing purposes and how you can have some fun with some devices which belong to you using that bad USB module. Now, like with all of our videos, everything which we are recording here is purely for educational purposes, for penetration testers, so they can test these different things on hardware which they do own. And then towards the end of the video, we are gonna be moving on how we can actually flash over that custom firmware and also how we can unlock the sub gigahertz option so you can remove those restrictions which are probably in place from the standard Flipper Zero firmware. Now, without further ado, let's get started and look at where to begin. Let's get started with our exciting session on the Flipper Zero. Now, as mentioned in today's introduction, we're going to be having a look at practical uses for the Flipper Zero if you are a penetration tester. Remember, everything which we're going to be looking at in this video is so you can use your Flipper Zero for ethical purposes and not illegal purposes. And just how can you use it to assess things like your access control and how can you sniff different radio protocols? Now, if you're like me, you're going to have received your Flipper Zero with lots and lots of restrictions on in place, sorry. So we're going to be looking at how we can copy over both the Rogue Master firmware and also the Unleashed firmware today. Unleashed is going to be in our next video. Today's focus is on Rogue Master. Now, one of the things which we are also going to be do looking at is how can we unrestrict the sub gigahertz option so we can read lots and lots of different signals. Now, to get started with, you are going to want to head over to this link if you are just getting started and download QFlipper. This is the software which you are going to want to use to interface with your Flipper Zero. Now, this is an excellent piece of software. It's going to show you the firmware which you're running. If you're plugging in for the first time, it's probably going to be offering you an update option. We can see how much memory we have on our SD card and also if the databases have been found. In the logs option, it is going to show you if you have got any errors in different scripts which you are running. Over in settings, we can back up, restore, as well as, as well as another couple of options. And then over here in this option here, you're going to be able to access all of the files which are on your SD card. Now, the device which I'm starting with today is one which already has Rogue Master flashed. We are going to move on to a standard device which doesn't have Rogue Master, and we're going to look at the setup of this. Now, once you have flashed the Rogue Master firmware over, you're going to see a similar file structure to mine with lots more different options available. Now, one of the fantastic things about QFlipper is that you're going to be able to use this toggle option to remotely control your device when it is plugged in to a computer. Now, if you want to know if the Rogue Master software has been successfully flashed across, one of the things that you can look for is the clock icon. And there are also going to be some other applications which are now available, like UniRF Remix. Now, what we are going to have a look at to begin with is what can we do with the NFC reader? Now, as I said, everything which we're looking at here is for penetration testing purposes. So am I able to emulate things like my ID pass at work? Am I able to pull, in, pull any information from my credit card or bank card? And can I, can I pull any information from my passport? Now, when I am demonstrating these different things here, I am going to be having a gray box appear across my screen because I'm not looking to share any details with the community on YouTube or wherever you are watching this. Now, what we're going to do is, first of all, start with my credit card. So I'm going to stick this underneath the back of the Flipper Zero, and I'm going to press on Read and see if I can pull any data from the credit card. 
Now, at the moment, we can see that it's just showing this option here, and it isn't actually allowing us to pull any information. If I lift this up, and if I switch it for my bank card, and there's going to be a grey box up here, I'm able to pull information from my bank card. Can I emulate this information? I don't know. I'm just having a look at what I can do with this for pen testing purposes. We can see we've got an option which says emulate. If I go back and if I stick my passport underneath it, am I able to read any data from my passport? So we're going to go back into this option. Passport is underneath. I'm going to press on the, I think it's this one, back option. Press on exit and read again. And again, it is picking up information from my passport. Again, this is grayed out. Now, something which I also want to do with you in today's video and just demonstrate before we get on to flashing the custom firmware over is how does the bad USB module work? Now, if you go to my GitHub page underneath this video or if you check out some of my other videos, what you are going to be able to see is that I have written different scripts before to see if I can deactivate my own Windows Defender for penetration testing purposes. Am I able to bypass any of these things? I have also written another script which is going to allow me to rickroll myself if we plug this into a computer. And then I'm also going to be looking at a script from Jacoby. So lots and lots of credit to Jacoby, okay? He has, or she has, apologies, released an amazing script on GitHub which allows us to also pull all of the saved Wi-Fi credentials from a device. Now, in order to get this to work, I need to unplug my flipper. And again, my GitHub page is saved underneath this video. And I'm going to go down to the bad USB option on my flipper zero. Now, in order for me to run this, you're going to see an option flash up on the screen with me scrolling through the menu once I have recorded that anyway, hopefully it'll be ready in time for this video. And the first thing which we're going to have a look at is Jacoby's script here. So it's called Wallpaper Troll. It is a plug and play script. I'm going to plug in my flipper and I'm going to press on the middle option to run. Now, when I press on this, you're going to see lots of fake Wi-Fi credentials appear as a desktop wallpaper. And we're going to see what credentials have been saved on my device for pen testing. So Let's give it a go. Something is happening. We can see something is still happening. It says run and complete and our wallpaper has changed. So we're going to be able to see again grayed out just because I don't want to reveal any profile passwords or full profile names. I've grayed some of this information out as well as my public IP. But what we have been able to do is we have been able to pull Wi-Fi passwords from my laptop for pen testing, and then also change the wallpaper. So this is some pretty scary stuff. Now, the next thing which we're going to do is we are going to have a look at how can we use a PowerShell script, so that's from my own GitHub page, to deactivate Windows Defender. So we have selected on our Windows Defender script, plugging in my USB to my Flipper Zero. We're going to run. and it is working this time. And we have just successfully turned off virus and threat protection. Now, if you got a little bit lost in that video there, I did have to kind of edit it and come back to it. So it took a couple of goes to run this successfully. I had to edit the scripts from a script that I wrote for one of the Hack5 products, but this does actually work. Now, the last bad USB script I'm gonna demo here is a Rickroll. So on my Flipper Zero, I'm going to select on Rickroll. I'm going to plug in the USB-C again. Picked it up, going to press on Run. And can I Rickroll myself? So this is very common with different Hack5 products. It's opening up Brave. Looks like we're going to YouTube. It's going to play this famous Rick Astley video. And is this impressive right? So here are some examples of bad USB scripts for kind of fun and demonstration purposes. You can see that there were a couple of glitches and now we are going to move back to our Flipper Zero once again. Now, I'm not going to be demonstrating any of these remotes in today's video, but if we go back into our Flipper, 
And once you have flashed over Rogue Master, you can select on Universal Remotes. And you're going to be there are so you're going to be able to see that there are so many more options available in comparison to the standard Flipper Zero firmware. Okay, so moving over to our Flipper Zero that doesn't have the Rogue Master firmware, I have updated the Flipper Zero firmware to the latest version. And if we go over to our SD card, what you're going to be able to see is that there are fewer applications which are available now. And if we also go over to our toggle option, we're going to be able to see that there's no clock and some of the other applications which I was demonstrating before are just not here. Okay, so over here on the GitHub page for Rogue Master, we are looking for the option on the right hand side where it says releases. We are going to download this firmware to our computer. So if you select on this link and scroll down to the bottom, there are a couple of different download options available. So we've got this zip file here, which we are going to take, but we also have the source code option as well. If you are looking to make changes to the source code, obviously go for option number two. But if you're just looking to flash over the Rogue Master firmware, you can take this option here. Now, what I am going to do is I'm going to go back over to my desktop where I have the file downloaded already and I have got it unzipped into this first folder here. So it's going to come in zip format. If you unzip the file, you'll then be able to find these files here. Now, the last thing you're going to want to do before you copy these files across to the SD card is make sure you unzip the resources folder. Otherwise, when you do flash this firmware onto your Flipper Zero, you're going to find that lots of the applications just do not have different files available because they are stuck in this zip folder. So now you've unzipped this, we are going to do a control A and we don't actually want to take across this zip file. So I'm going to unselect that and I'm going to take the SD card out of my flipper and I am going to put it in my computer. So now my SD card has been inserted into my computer. What we are going to do is that we are going to copy that data into our Flipper SD card. So if you go to the update folder, if you have copied those files, we can then paste them into this folder here. And this is going to take a moment to copy over. Okay, and now they have been copied over, we are going to take out the SD card from our computer. I'm going to pop it back into our Flipper Zero. Now I'm going to do everything on the screen here. So I'm going to reconnect my Flipper. So you can see that I've got successful firmware which has been flashed and another pop-up is going to appear on the screen which shows me recording this on my mobile phone. Now I did try with uh, my GoPro but unfortunately uh, it wasn't successful. The video quality was just quite bad. So we can see two windows on the screen now so it's saying all data will be saved onto the SD card so we're going to select on OK. We're going to hit the toggle button in the middle and actually let's go back. What we want to do is actually go into our browser so we're going to select on down and then we're going to go left and we're going to look for that update folder which we have copied across mine is at the top now we are going to get disconnected from our flipper in a minute so you're going to see that this smaller window get larger just so we can actually install this rogue master firmware so we're going to select on the middle button and we're going to say run this in the app now this is going to attempt to install the rogue master firmware and we can see I was disconnected from my flipper on the computer. We're going to see if there are any errors when this is being flashed across. I have had a couple of uh, issues copying across this firmware if I haven't restored my second flipper to the original state with the Flipper Zero software and also making sure that these files were deleted. Okay, so my Flipper Zero has just finished flashing the firmware and it has rebooted. So what we are going to do is just scroll through this menu so we can see we've got the Clock app available now and we've also got UniRF Remix, which means that we have managed to successfully copy across our Rogue Master firmware. Now, the next thing which we are gonna to have to do here is we are going to look at how we can unrestrict the sub gigahertz option. Now, there are two files which are available from Pingy1, so thank you very much for these. So you've got a setting frequency analyzer user and also a setting user file. Now, there are different ways to do this. What we're going to do, first of all, is open up these files and we're going to have a look at what's actually inside of these. So I'm going to open this in Notepad. And what you're going to be able to see here is that the add standard frequencies for your region is set to false. And then we have got lots of different frequencies which are now available. So we're going to copy this file across to our sub gigahertz folder and put it inside assets. 
And also over here, we've got setting frequency analyzer. We're going to open this with Notepad 2. And then over here, you're going to be able to see there are lots of default frequencies, which are also now available. So we're going to copy these files over to our SD card. And then now we're back on our SD card of our flipper. I have copied these two files into the sub gigahertz and then assets folder. Now, this should mean that our sub gigahertz option is now unrestricted. As I said, there are different ways to do this, but this pretty much finishes off today's video. Now, to finish off today's video, the last thing that I want to show you is what is actually inside our infrared folder. Now we have successfully copied over the Rogue Master firmware. So if you open up Universal Remotes, and if you compare this to the original Flipper Zero firmware, what you're going to be able to find is there are so many other options which are now available. So we can remotely can control TVs, audio, projectors, fans, air conditioners, and also more. Now, we have looked at some really, really interesting concepts today. Our next video is going to focus on the Unleashed firmware and how to set that up. And I'll also be sharing some other really cool projects with you soon on the Flipper Zero. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in our next video soon.